You alright mate, how's it going? Do you wanna join Team Thanks See ya? It's gonna be pretty cool, we're gonna be bigger than Team Tom Cruise. Nope! Oh. Well that's just rude. What is going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. And today we are going to be taking a look at the fantastic camping mod. So yeah, this is a great mod for anyone like me who likes to get out there and explore, find new things, raid dungeons and strongholds and all that jazz. Uh, so yeah, this is great and it will enable you to set up a temporary camp where you can sleep, you can save your spawn point, and you can store all your items, and of course you can cook your food. Because if you're someone like me once again who likes to find Fight, you're gonna go through a lot of food very very quickly but yeah okay so as you can see I've kind of got a very basic setup so what you see here are only a certain amount of the actual items that you can make so these are the tents that you can do now the tents are kind of cool because you can enable to set up a sleeping bag inside so of course you can like save your spawn point and stuff and of course you can do like a storage tent as well with these six little mini chests uh, but yeah we're going to take a look at those in a little bit more detail in a second as well as that we're going to take a look at the campfire and the upgrades for the campfire because it gets pretty cool uh, but yeah let's look into the chest of wonder i've got an egg i don't want it i don't want it there we go. And we're going to take a look into the chest of wonder and see sort of more of the items that are available. So, right, we're going to start at the top here with the campfires. Now, this is the very basic standard campfire, and this is just an aesthetic campfire only. So the only thing that you're going to be able to do if you're going to make this campfire is it's going to give you a great source of light. So that's probably going to help with the kind of zombies spawning and all that stuff. So it will light up the area really well, but in terms of like cooking food, it won't do anything. So you have to upgrade it to a different campfire depending on which one you want. So, you actually have a choice of four different ones here. You've got the cheap cooking campfire, the fast cooking campfire, the multi cooking campfire, and like the best one is the insta cooking campfire. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look at the recipes for those in a second. Now, in terms of like food, you can get marshmallows and you can get radish. Radishes. What's the plural of radish? Radi. <laughs> I'm going to call them Radi. Uh, but yeah, you've got radish and uh, you have marshmallows and then you can put them on a stick and you can roast them and stuff for a food source, which is pretty cool. Uh, of course, we have the obligatory camper's armor set, which I think I'll put on just for the just for the sheer fun of it. Uh, we have the camper's tool and the camper's tool version 2, which are really important items for the mod. We have some extra storage bags as well. So if you're going to be raiding, uh, you know, dungeons or whatever this would work amazing for anyone who has like a crazy mod pack with loads of items for example if anyone's seen my hexit let's play this would be a great mod to have in that uh, but yeah this is a small a normal and a large camping bag which is extra storage space and of course we have ourselves the actual tent and uh, we have the canvas and the tent pegs and all that stuff so uh, yeah i haven't actually tried changing the color of that can i change the color of that that's really cool hang on wait i'm gonna make a red one can i do this can I do this? We're gonna find out. This is this was not planned for the video, but um, oops. No. Uh, what about if I just dye it? Does that work? Oh my god! Okay, so I didn't know that. Right, you can also customize your tent color, which is really, really cool. I had no idea you could do that. Um, but yeah, that's really awesome. So yes, the standard one is like white, but you can change it to whatever color you want. So let's make a purple one. There we go. Let's make a pink one. Where is the where is the there it is okay so fantastic so yeah, you can customize the color of your tents with dyes didn't realize that was in here that's another great feature but yeah okay so where was I yeah all right so let's take a look at some crafting recipes now just quickly so we're going to start with the campfires now as I mentioned it kind of works on like an upgrade system well I didn't actually mention it but I'm going to mention it now so you start off by having to make the normal basic campfire so this is the one that just gives you light and it doesn't actually cook your food but yeah it's three torches a piece of lint and uh, three clean stone at the bottom and then that'll give you this campfire and then what you can do is from that one campfire you can choose one of three different ones so you can make the fast one which is one campfire and four flint and steel you can make the multi cooking one which is one campfire and four furnace and you can make the cheap one which is one campfire and four ender pearls alternatively when you want to get the best one what you need to do is make all four campfires and then use that to make the insta cooking one now in terms of making the tent you all have to start off with this item here which is the campus tool 
So the campus tool is made uh, from red rose dye and then uh, three iron ingots down the middle and then that will give you the campus tool and if you want to make the upgraded version then you use the campus tool in the middle uh, with two red dye and then six iron ingots down the side. So this kind of campus tool is basically made for, as well as the armor set, the recipes are there, that's just, you know, just generic armor set, whatever. Uh, you have to make, in order for the tent, you need to do the tent pegs and you need to do the canvas. So the tent pegs are pretty straightforward to make. It's just one campus tool and it's one iron ingot and then I'll give you four tent pegs. And in order to get yourself ten canvas, you're just going to need one campus tool and uh, string. So yeah, we'll do a six string. Right, okay. So, finally, if we want to do the tent, very straightforward, two tent pegs in the bottom, and then five canvas across the top, and then voila, that gives you your tent. Also, just quickly, the sleeping bag is three wool across the top, that will give you the sleeping bag. And then finally, if you want to make some marshmallows, uh, you need to do them with one water bottle, six sugar, one egg, and one bowl. And if you want to stick them on a stick, <laughs> then you can do one marshmallow, three sticks, and you can fuel 0.5 furnace operations with these if you want, but it's probably cooler just to sort of eat them. Uh, so yeah, that's the marshmallows on the stick. So ooh, just one final thing, the bags is just made out of canvas. So you start off with the basic one, which is canvas around the sides, and then to order upgrade it, you put the small one in the middle and then around the sides, and then to make the bigger one, you put the normal one in the middle and you do it around the sides, you get the picture. Right. Anyway, let's take a look at the, some of this stuff in a little bit more detail. So this is the basic tent, and then once you pitch this, it will be at a default angle. So it will actually be pointing this way. In order to change the angle of it, very straightforward, you actually use yourself the campus tool. So uh, let's just change the survivor mode here quickly. Uh, what you do is you locate the, the hitbox, which is, um, where is it? Oh, God, fire! <laughs> right, yeah, so it will set you on fire, so you've got to be careful. Ooh, let me get rid of that. So there you go. You can get rid of the sleeping bags and the you know the campfires and stuff. This is great because it will enable you to take your stuff with you when you're finished. So if you want to take something, you know, and get rid Oh, God! No! No! <laughs> this is not the plan! Oh! Oh, I set zombies on fire. So this is a great item as well because it does set stuff on fire. So if mobs and stuff run through it, it will sort of set them on fire and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, the camping tool will enable you to pick up and take your items with you. So if I wanted to pick up this tent, uh, can I rotate this? There we go. See, I can rotate it like that, which is pretty awesome. So I can choose which angle. Obviously, if I want to pick up a bonfire, I can just uh, use that and then it will, uh, I think it will give me it. Yeah, there we go. See, you can kind of put it back as and when you want. So yeah, as well as that, you can also do this cool storage tent. Let me get rid of all this stuff here. Actually, I want to put this on. Uh, now I can get rid of it all. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. One second. One second, bear with me. Ugh. I could really just click four. Oh, I always get that wrong. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, God. Hang on. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right, so that's a bit easier. So this is what the uh, armor set looks like, in case you're wondering. <laughs> looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool indeed. I like that. But uh, yeah, this is one is a storage tent, so this is absolutely fantastic. And the storage boxes themselves are just literally a normal chest, so you'd pitch a tent like usual, and then you just stick some storage boxes, so you just stick a chest in the middle of it, and then it would give you this sort of storage chest style thing. And as you can see, the space that you get is really, really good from one chest, so this is going to be great once again for, if you've got like a mod with loads of items in, you're going to be great in order to store all of this stuff in here, and then when you're ready, you can kind of move it back to your base. Uh, but yeah, obviously you can sleep in these with the sleeping bags, and obviously you've got your storage. But yeah, let's take a look at the campfires, because these are pretty cool. Uh, right, so this one is the, let's start from the, um, blah, 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 the cheap one first. So this is the cheap cooking bonfire. So as you can see, all the flames are different colors and stuff. Um, what this does is it's basically, you, you have to cook it like normal, so you, know, you can stick that in there. Um, and then it will start cooking. It's very slow with the cheap one, and I think the cheap one, what it does is that when you, when I think you can fuel it maybe to make it go faster. Uh, let's have a go. Uh, but I think let's get let's get some piece of wood. Does that make any difference whatsoever? Unsure. <laughs> but yeah, that's the cheap one. Uh, the next one is the fast cooking campfire. Now, as you may guess, this makes stuff cook a bit quicker. It's got a really nice blue flame on it. That's so cool. And uh, this only gives you, like, you know, one box at the top, but it will enable you to cook stuff much faster. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, let me stick some chickens in. 
Buck, 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 buck. But I do actually need to fuel this one. Aha! So the cheap one will actually cook stuff regardless, but this one you do actually have to fuel it. Because it's quicker, you do have to fuel it. But as you can see, it's very, very fast in order to cook your food. So if you really, really need it, then you can get it pretty quickly. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and then we've got the multi-cooking one, which is another one that I haven't actually seen yet. Ooh, I do like the green as well. I think I like the blue one the best, so far. Uh, but yeah, this is the multi-cooking one, so you can have loads and loads of different kinds of food if you want. Um, so, you know, you can have, you can have like some couple of pork chops, and uh, what else can we cook? A couple of chickens, and a fish, and then if we stick all these in like so, and then we fuel it, let's do some charcoal, let's be, some, let's be retro. Uh, then you know, obviously you can cook loads of things uh, together. So this enables you to not have to have like five furnaces. You can just have one multi-cooker going and then that will enable you to cook your stuff quick. You could also use these in your main base. You don't have to use this just for camping. These are pretty useful. And then finally the insta cooking one. This one is really good because it will just get stuff done so fast. Uh, let me change it back into uh, nighttime there. Uh, and all you do with it is you don't even have to enter it with any kind of screen. Uh, you just have to grab yourself some meat and you just have to right click on it and then instantly it will cook it into the food you want. So that's pretty awesome. It's very, very handy, especially for someone who likes to get up and go. But for example, we've got a marshmallow stick, right click it, boom, cooked marshmallows. Um, so yeah, that's really, really good. It will cook stuff instantly and uh, yeah, it will get the job done. So, yeah, I kind of think that's about, oh, actually, now I've got one more thing to show you, which are the, um, which are the bags. So, obviously, extra storage is always really, sort of, really useful. This is a small camping bag, so it just gives you nine extra slots. Uh, the normal one, there you go, it gives you a few more. And then, finally, the, uh, the large one, oh, God. The large one gives you a few more once again. So these are great items to carry around if you are going into dungeons. Also, if you're going mining, you can gather you know, loads more loot. You don't have to chuck that redstone away or that lapis or whatever. You might as well take it with you. Um, so yeah, you can keep it in this bag. And also, finally, there is one item that you actually spawn in with. Now, the reason why I didn't show you this straight away is because it would be kind of doing the job for me. But if you are a little bit, you know, confused with certain aspects of this mod, when you spawn into your world, you get given the camping guide. So this is really, really great, and it will give you information about all of the mod itself. So it will give you information first about the campfires, it will tell you how to make them, it will tell you all the specific bits and pieces, it will tell you the exact timings of everything, it will tell you about, you know, multi-cooking, fast cooking, cheap cooking, insta-cooking, it will tell you about tents and how to make them all, uh, it will tell you about dyeing them, it will tell you, you know, about sleeping bags and canvas and tent pegs and all that stuff so yeah it's a really really great addition all right so that's about it for the camping mod i do hope you enjoyed it uh and uh, yeah if you enjoyed this mod spotlight or if you enjoy camping with cool crazy bonfires and spiders and punch you in the face uh then uh, yeah if you could leave a like on this video that would be really really appreciated by myself uh yeah and also if you're not subscribed yet uh please feel free to we have lots of fun playing minecraft yeah <laughs> but until next time thank you once again for watching it's been a pleasure as always thanks and see ya